This is a very popular question. Okay. First step. Maybe we're gonna say it's just square root of negative eight times negative nine. And of course, negative times negative is positive, so that's square root of seventy-two. Very good. Then we know that seventy-two can be written as six squared, then times two. So it is just six times square root of two. Now I'm gonna say your answer is wrong. What's the problem? The problem is these two numbers are not real. They're imaginary. This formula only works for real numbers. Doesn't work for complex numbers. So now, what this really equals is square root of eight times i, and then times square root of nine times i, where i is the imaginary unit, square root of negative one. We actually have negative square root of eight times square root of nine. This time, because this one and this one, square root of eight and square root of nine are both real; they are real numbers. So, so we can use the formula: square root of a times square root of b equals square root of a times b. It is negative square root of seventy-two, and the answer will be negative six root two. And this time, it's correct. Do you get it? Do you get the method? Do you get the mistake? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, give this video a like, subscribe to me, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.